Guys, please excuse this monstrosity on my wrist. But I've been wearing this stunning time distortion G-Shock for the last one week. So what's the verdict? It's about time I took this off and got into my seven day review. We'll also be going through some awesome nicknames for this watch that you guys came up with. And at the end of the video, you'll get to decide what we wear as our next watch of the week. So stick around. The DWD 5600TD is a breathtaking G-Shock from Casio's Time Distortion lineup, which features three unique watches, each with their own 3D display. Here's what I loved about this G-Shock over the last one week. This G-Shock was very comfortable for me to wear, although I must admit I feel like I have been spoiled by our last watch of the week, the Skme 1628, which just has these ridiculously supple straps in comparison. But other than the straps, this watch has been superior in every way. There's an internal sensor so that when you raise your wrist, the auto electroluminescent backlight turns on. And unlike the backlight of the SCME, which lasts two seconds using side LEDs, the G-Shock lasts much longer and is a lot more even and easier to read. Also, a very important feature to me is the ability to scroll both up and down when making adjustments, which is something that the SCME just couldn't do. I've also been enjoying the world time mode since I have a couple of family members traveling and I can know what time it is and whether they'll be awake if I want to reach out. And my favorite feature of this G-Shock was the timer due to a unique feature that I've never experienced before. As it happened, my wife and I wanted to play a card game to figure out who had the biggest brain. And clearly it wasn't me. But despite this, I somehow had the 200 IQ idea to use my handy G-Shock instead of this crappy egg timer, which we had to keep flipping over and waiting for it to go back down. And my favorite setting that made it super easy was this one just here, which you can toggle on to enable audio alerts. So we'd be sitting there trying to solve a puzzle like this one, and without even looking at the G-Shock, we'd receive warnings as our time ticked down. If you're enjoying the video, make sure you ram that like button and that you are a subscriber. And if you want to buy this super cool time distortion G-Shock, I'm leaving a link for you in the description below. And now it's time for the sleepy goat alarm test. And seeing as one of you viewers left a cheeky comment last time about how I woke up at 9am, this time I got up at 5. And it wasn't easy, but here it was. And I know it's a little blurry, but you're just going to have to trust me. And now for the things that I didn't like about this G-Shock. So let's start with the elephant in the room. This G-Shock has a negative display. So how was the legibility over the last week? Well, to be honest, guys, I didn't really notice that it was hard to view, but I did have a rather good suggestion from one of our viewers, Colin, who suggested we compare this G-Shock to others with a negative display. Thanks for your suggestion, Colin. I've brought in two G-Shocks for comparison, the GD350, which is well known for its well executed negative display, and then the GDX6900, which is probably more on the level playing field with the time distortion. <laughs> Guys, please excuse this monstrosity on my wrist, but I'm trying to get a fair, a fair comparison here and get all the same angles, but I'm not sure if this is gonna work here. There you go. Now let's tilt it sideways and see where we lose visibility. Time distortion's out. And uh, yeah, the GD350 definitely got the best negative display. Man, I feel like an absolute Chad right now. Imagine a night on the town with this bad boy on. Oh yeah. So in all seriousness, the legibility of the display is not fantastic. But other than that, there was really only a couple of things that I didn't like about this G-Shock. And actually, both of these reasons are to do with these straps. 
So what I found over the last one week while wearing it is that it actually pinched the hairs on my arms a couple of times, which was quite painful. Now, it doesn't sound like the end of the world, but compared to all of the other watches that I normally wear, that's a very rare occurrence. So it is something that stood out to me. So my final issue with these straps is actually concern for this beautiful 3D pattern here. And I'm just a little bit worried that seeing as it's in a high friction area against the buckle and clasp here, that it might eventually get worn down over time. So if you've ever had a G-Shock with a strap with printing on it, let me know. Has it ever worn down for you? And speaking of straps, the creakiness that we identified in the unboxing video didn't appear to be a problem over the last seven days. So perhaps it just needed a bit of time to soften up. Now it's time to take a look at some of the nicknames that you guys came up with for this awesome G-Shock. And if you haven't already, make sure you're a subscriber so you get to participate in cool stuff just like this. We had the Hulk. The Green Machine, or... The Trippy Time Mind Bender. The Slime Distortion. And this one came from our Discord channel. So make sure you check that out in the description if you're not already a member. The Lean Green Rhyme Machine. Actually, Paul corrected that. The Lean Green Time Telling Machine. Don't worry, Paul, I've got your back. The Green Goblin or G Goblin. The Green Dunes. Kryptonite, the Green Lantern, G-Shock, Toxic, No Waste, the Rick and Morty Watch, and the Boogeyman. So thanks to everyone who commented your ideas. There were some fantastic suggestions there, but my personal favorite would have to be the Green <laughs> Goblin. So congratulations to Volvo Rat. That was a great suggestion. But I do have to say, how come no one thought of the Shrek? Come on, guys, get it together. And I'd actually love even more input from you guys as we decide on our next Watch of the Week. On the left, we have the AE 1500WH a watch suggested by Hans V. And on the right, we have the W800H, which has been suggested by multiple viewers now. To cast your vote, head over to the Goat Reviews YouTube profile and click on the Community tab to cast your vote between these options. Ram the like button if you've enjoyed today's episode and let me know below what you think about the Green Goblin. Here's an excellent video for you to watch next. And here is our Watch of the Week playlist so you can binge watch all our episodes. A massive thank you to our Goat Crew channel members for supporting the channel. And here's a link to join us if you'd like some cool VIP benefits. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review.